Hi, David Millington here, and I'd like to give a very quick talk about strings in C++ Builder. So first of all, let's look at the standard C++ strings, the ones in the std namespace. The most common is std string and std w string, which are narrow, such as ASCII, and wide, such as Unicode or UTF-16 versions of an underlying templated type. And these are the two string types that you are most likely to use in C++. But their support for some common string functions is perhaps lacking. One really common thing is how it handles different types of Unicode, such as UTF-8 or conversion between narrow and wide, or ANSI and Unicode of various different formats. I don't think I'm saying anything particularly controversial if I say that this is a fairly well-known weak point in the standard strings support. And there are a number of other common things that you want to do with a string that aren't necessarily as easy as, as you might expect using the std string classes. In C++ Builder, we have a few other string types. So the main one is string, which is a type def of Unicode string. It's UTF-16 type. And there's also ANSI string, uh, which is a single character type. And that one carries code page information. So you can see some code samples on screen. ANSI string S is just implicitly the local code page, but you can also have a templated version, for example, code page 1252, uh, or you can use UTF-8 string, which is actually a type def, which just happens to mean that the narrow characters it contains are actually a UTF-8 encoded string. And you can even say that something contains just raw bytes. But as well as string, which is Unicode, and ANSI string, we have UCS4 string and you know, that kind of thing as well for, for different types of Unicode. And one of the key really useful things here is that these are all easily convertible. So string S constructed with an ANSI string just converts it to Unicode and it just works and it handles it correctly. Now these string types are also convertible to and compatible with the standard library strings. They're easily convertible via CSTRA. And they have many other useful methods for comparison with and without case or sorting, for insertion, deletion, search, substrings, trimming, handling surrogate characters, examining code pages. You can do explicit conversion if you like via the T encoding class, but assignment or construction conversion is inbuilt. They're iterable, etc., as you would expect in a normal C class. So the takeaway here is that we have powerful string classes that are fully compatible with each other, that have inbuilt support for modern string needs, and that are compatible with the C++ library's standard strings. They are well worth checking out, and you will find that your code is much more pleasant to use if you use them.